Hi, this is Kenneth Wong, Senior Editor for DE247. When you want to find out what's happening inside a patient's body, you take X-ray or CT scan. So what do you do when you want to inspect the inside of an enclosed mechanical system? You do the same thing, of course, but with a special machine. Luma Field describes its technology as X-ray computed tomography. Its office is in San Francisco, so let's pay them a visit. Lumafield is headquartered in Cambridge, Massachusetts, and our other office where we're standing today is here in San Francisco. Uh, we've created an accessible CT scanner for engineers. So it basically gives you x-ray vision to uh, figure out what's going on inside your products, to improve your designs, to diagnose problems, uh, to get through the design for manufacturing stage smoothly. We think it's going to be a, a key frontline tool for engineers in all sorts of industries. So after a scan is reconstructed uh, in the cloud, it's available in our Voyager software in a web browser, and you can explore, uh, visualize, do a lot of measurements, detect porosity, really analyze your part there. Um, but if you need to export it, you can export a mesh file like an STL and bring that into software like SolidWorks to do uh, further analysis, to you know, create a digital uh, parts inventory that you can then use to 3D print parts and, and you know, create replacement parts and that kind of thing. CT scanning uh, uses x-rays and x-rays can damage uh, certain types of electronics. We found that flash memory, when it's subjected to really long x-ray scans, uh, can be corrupted. And so there's a little bit of a risk there, um, but most things are not affected by x-rays at all. So it's, it's entirely safe. Objects are not made radioactive by x-rays, so you can scan something and then handle it immediately once you turn the x-rays off. And the machine is very safe itself. Um, it, uh, it's designed to be used in an office or workshop environment, and uh, being around the machine really doesn't subject you to, uh, to any additional radiation beyond what you'd normally experience in the background or by going on an airplane or anything like that. Many of our customers are in packaging. Uh, they're concerned with making sure that things like bottles don't leak, that they meet their expectations, that they're robust. Um, those are surprisingly complex designs and pretty difficult to, uh, to diagnose and, and fix. We have a lot of customers in electronics who are improving their designs by figuring out conflicts between circuit boards and enclosures. We have a lot of customers um, doing things with composites where, uh, for instance, Trek Bicycle is using our CT scanner technology to uh, analyze what goes on in a carbon fiber bike tube when it's subjected to wear and tear, like a small stone hitting a, a tube, uh, and being able to say with certainty that the bike is still safe to ride. So there are a lot of different things that benefit from just being able to see inside your work with more clarity and being able to quantify it too, you know, to really measure what you're doing precisely. This is different from 3D scanning, which gives you the outer shape of something. CT scanning, by contrast, gives you the inside view. Along with LumaFuel software, the process gives you a chance to understand the product, its inner workings, and in some cases, whether it's built the way it is intended. It functions both as part of a reverse engineering process and a quality assurance measure. For more engineering-related news, please go to Digital Engineering 247. That's digitalengineering247.com. Thank you very much. Until next time, I'm Kenneth Wong for DE247.